So Apple is moving to the Research Triangle Park. What is gonna happen to home values? Also, maybe you're just curious what the Research Triangle Park is. We're gonna address both of those things today in our video, stick around. up everybody if this is your first time welcome to the channel if this is not your first time welcome back make sure to hit that subscribe button in the corner also hit the bell so you're notified of every time we release a new video which is weekly uh, that number on the screen that is actually our uh, cell phone number so we are local real estate agents in the area and as much as we love doing these videos uh, we love helping make your real estate needs and dreams come true uh, so if you have any questions regarding real estate make sure to hit us up we actually we're the ones that answer those phone calls we answer those text messages uh, it's not some automated system it is actually us so if you have any real estate questions make sure to hit us up so with all that being said let's dive in all right, so what is the Research Triangle Park? So the Research Triangle Park is actually, it's a specific location uh, that is centrally located in what we call the Triangle, which is Raleigh-Durham Chapel Hill. So it has quick access to any of those areas, to Raleigh, to Durham, to Chapel Hill. And it is actually the largest research park in the world. Uh, there are seven, I think 7,000 acres, over 300 companies are located here. Uh, those companies, you got big names like IBM, Cisco, Lenovo, uh, there's a lot of pharmaceutical, uh, biomedical companies that are here. Uh, Fujifilm is here. And most uh, notably of recent is Apple is coming to the Research Triangle Park as well. Uh, this area is it's also, it's, it's the, the park in general is kind of exploding lately. Right behind us, uh, you see the Boxyard RTP. You kind of see the mural in, in the background. And it's this really cool like shipping container type area that has restaurants, uh, shops, just really neat. And RTP, so RTP is Research Triangle Park. I'm just gonna call it RTP from here on out because it's easier. Once you um, move here, you'll know that that's what everybody calls it. Yeah, yeah, everybody calls it <laughs> RTP. No one ever calls it, calls it uh, Research Triangle Park. So um, yeah, like RTP, they're they're adding a bunch of stuff like this with the, you got the box yard uh, to the rear of that is a place called the Frontier, which is a co-working space. Uh, it is free to have, you, you have to have a membership to join, uh, but it is free. Uh, and like I said, it's a co-working space, so you can go in there and you can work from there. Um, there's also a spot they're adding called The Hub, which is, uh, it's like an urban center. It's gonna have apartments, it's gonna have two hotels, I think 75,000 square feet of restaurants, shops, all that is just literally right behind us. Uh, so it's gonna be a really, really cool place. And all this is located, you have uh, Interstate 40 that runs through, you have Highway 147 that cuts through, so it's all centrally located within the triangle. Um, yeah, it's just, it's a really cool area. There's, there's trails that run through the Research Triangle Park. I think I, I think there was like 10 miles of trails. I don't know, it's, 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 it's something like that. Whenever you drive through, you always see the trails on the side of the road that kind of cut into the woods. It's just a really, it's a really cool place. It is, yeah. It's been here for a long time, but it's kind of getting more and more um, notable, I guess. Yeah, like, which makes and a little sense. more hip feeling. A lot more tech, tech companies coming yeah. in. Yeah, younger, yeah. younger feels, a lot more hip. Yeah, like Zach said, like cool box yard place and whatnot. Yeah. So, because it used to be mostly just the businesses office themselves spaces, and yeah. office and stuff, but now yeah. I feel like they're trying to add more restaurants and, yeah. you know, coffee shops and things like that. So, yeah, and you find, huh. yeah, like there's like food truck rodeos that they hold. Um, yeah, it's just, it's, just a, it's, it's becoming a fun kind of hip place. So. Yeah. So if you're moving here, maybe you got a job in RTP or wondering where should I live? They're really close to, um, the, the park is actually divided. Part of it's are in Wake County, which yeah. is like the Raleigh side. And then you have the Durham County side, which is more Durham. Um, and then you have some smaller sub areas there like Morrisville, it's really close by, yeah. um, which is also near the airport. So some people really like that. Um, Cary is close by. Yep. Uh, really nice area, smaller town, but has its own feel. Yeah. Um, we did a video on Cary, so yeah, check that out. Check that out yeah. if you're curious about Cary. Um, yeah, prices there are a little more expensive, but yeah. really great schools, a lot of good parks, um, really clean and safe. 
Um, then you have the Briar Creek area, which sits on the border of Raleigh and Durham. Um, so that area is really popular for a lot of people because it is really central to the airport, um, just central to everything. I feel like no matter where in North Carolina you are, if you are meeting at Briar Creek, it's going to take everybody half an hour. It's so funny. Um, so people like that area. There's a lot to choose from as far as housing um, in the Briar Creek area. You know, you have the big shopping center, Target is there, a lot of restaurants, Walmart. Um, and then lastly on our list that's close by would be South Durham. Mm -hmm. So the southern side of Durham is really close by. Um, South Point, you might hear that when you're researching some. It's like a mall yeah. in the area that's in the southern side of town. Yeah, it's actually some, really nice. It's a really nice Yeah, mall. it's a beautiful mall. It's like yeah. half outdoor, half indoor. Um, yeah has a movie theater. It's a great area. Um, so those are probably the four closest places that are where a majority of people do enjoy enjoy living that's close to RTV. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, those are great areas. So the big question is, when is Apple coming to RTP? So you might have heard about it, but you're not quite sure all the details of Apple coming, what it will look like. So we're gonna hit a little bit of what we know that's public information at this point. Yeah. Um, so right now their estimated start date for these jobs is gonna be in 2023. So I assume they're gonna start breaking ground on their campus pretty soon. Yeah, yeah, and so um, the the promise is that Apple will bring jobs into the area, at least, at least 3,000 jobs with a minimum salary of $187,000. The, no, I think it's the, the minimum. Um, She's right, you know. Um, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> so they, their campus will be on the Wake side, the Wake County side of the Research Triangle Park. Uh, I actually, I tried to find where it was going to be so we get like a little shot of it. I have no idea where it's going to be, so I apologize for that. It's probably just trees at this point. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess so. But I, I did research. I tried to find it. Couldn't find it. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be on the Wake County side of RTP, at least 3,000 jobs, $187,000 minimum salary. Um, and it's honestly, it's not just Apple coming into the area, it's the companies that will come here because of Apple is, is, is in the area. That's, I, I think that's like the, 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 the growth driver that the Apple is. It's not just Apple bringing 3,000 jobs, it's all the companies that want to be close to Apple when they get here. Uh, they will also bring jobs in. And so the people that work there as family members, you know. Yeah, the people who work so. there bring their families, their extended families. So yeah, just the, the, the growth that it occurs. So the question is, what impact will that have on home prices in the area, home values in the area? And the good news is we don't have to look that far to get some data. So we're not the first place Apple has brought a new campus to. In 2018, Apple announced that they were going to be moving into the Austin, Texas area, and it did some dramatic things with home prices. Yeah, it did. It did. So in July of 2018, this was prior to Apple announcing they were moving to Austin, Texas, uh, the median home price in Austin was $320,000. So that's straight from their uh, from their their MLS data there. So in July of 2021, their median home price is now 487,000. So you can see the increase from 320 to 485. Uh, Apple announced they were coming into Austin, Texas, in December of 2018. Um, so yeah, home prices there have skyrocketed. Now some of that is not just Apple. Right. Um, you know, Austin also landed Oracle. They landed Tesla. So there's quite a few other companies that, that, that have come into Austin, Texas. And some of that is related to uh, the shortage of inventory that we're experiencing nationwide uh, as a real estate market. So what impact will, will we see here in the Triangle? Probably somewhat similar to what Austin, Texas saw. Uh, Apple coming into the area will increase values. It'll increase prices in the area. Um, just as, as more companies call the Triangle home, it's just it's it's just the it's just the nature of it. Um, and we've seen what the price increase. Yeah. Since so Apple just announced. since Apple announced back in April, we've already had a 24% price increase on yeah. average in Durham. And that's not just because of Apple. Right. We have an inventory shortage in the yeah. area, like Zach said. But Apple really seems to have ignited it even further yeah. than it was in the last uh, year. So, yeah. Yeah. so people are desperate to go ahead and grab onto some property or take advantage of the prices maybe before Apple comes. So prices yeah. are going to continue going up. So if you're thinking about moving to the area, 
don't wait. Um, yeah, absolutely. I think once Apple gets here, it's just gonna keep ticking up similar to how it yeah. has in the last three years in yeah. Austin. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So Apple will have, the short answer to all this is Apple will have an effect on your uh, home values and they they will increase because, because of Apple coming into the area, so. All right, thanks so much for tuning in and watching this video. I don't think I introduced this at the beginning. My name is Zach, this is my beautiful wife, Cindy, uh, and we're so thankful that you watched this video. Uh, if you have any questions whatsoever, that number on the screen, like I said, that is our number. We answer those calls, we answer those text messages. Uh, if you have any questions real estate related, we would love to help make your real estate dreams and needs come true, so feel free to reach out. Uh, if you have not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell in the corner notified of any new videos we do these weekly um, if you're moving to the area you can probably tell we are sweating profusely like literally <laughs> I, I'm sweating through my shirt I feel like I just jumped out of the pool it is unbelievably hot so if you're moving from like a cooler state uh, spend some time in a sauna because it's it's a rude awakening here um, but anyway thanks so much for tuning in and we will see y'all next time